son Eitan was 11 months old when I discovered his tumor and we had it checked out. We went to numerous doctors and that's when our world changed. We went from just your normal young couple to beautiful kids to young couple that had to juggle two young kids, one of them going through chemo. We were very lost, didn't know anybody to talk to or to turn to. We have a good friend who lives here, Nancy Block. She's an ambassador for High Lifeline. She came over that night, sat with us at our dining room table, giving us chizuk and giving us pointers and just trying to give us a heads up of what we might experience and all the resources that High Lifeline could offer us. She listed everything that we could use, whether it's meals or rides or toys or volunteers to sit with the kids. Once we got to the hospital and we started treatment, we met our case manager, Esty Goldschmidt, who is awesome. She became part of the family. She made each visit more bearable. One time we had to spend time in the hospital, it was over Shavuos. And I decided I would stay with Eitan. High Lifeline had visitors walk down from Washington Heights and they would come visit us on Yantif. They kept us company, they lifted our spirits. It was, it was very comforting. High Lifeline being the number one organization for children at that stage, along with our entire community, made that time and our world just much easier. Even to after the whole ordeal, receiving toys on Hanukkah for him and all our other kids. And then at his birthday parties, his last few birthday parties, High Lifeline has sent a, a balloon artist that just helped. Every little bit that they do, and just little things, that just helped our world become that much easier during that difficult time. But we've always wanted to give back to High Lifeline, we just didn't really know how. One of our friends started the Young Builder Society. It was an opportunity to get involved, to volunteer, and just stay involved with High Lifeline. They offered to visit Camp Simcha to see what Camp Simcha does. We said, we'd love to go visit, but we'd like to make it a little bit more meaningful and volunteer. So we went together on deal day. It's one of the craziest highlights of honestly of my life going to and seeing the ruach, the enthusiasm, and what they do for these kids, literally on a daily basis. The dancing, the jumping, the smiles, everything, is it's not something you can imagine unless you're seeing it live, and there's really nothing like it. It's just an awesome experience to be able to really get involved and really be an integral part of the celebration. Chai Lifeline is there to make sure that everyone has hope, brings hope into your world. Once you realize what they're actually offering you personally is when you really realize the whole organization and what's behind it and what it does for families that are going through this. We didn't have to worry about the nitty gritty stuff. We yeah. were able to just focus on our family and just focus on our child that needed us the most.